offered by Sandra Tony Albert family for the intention of uh, the safe travel of Gandhi and Feroz Gandhi offered by Gandhi and family birthday of Charles Thanksgiving by Margaret and family and also birthday of uh, Anbu Sahairaj offered by the family members and for the Legion of Mary English in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all <coughs> my dear brothers and sisters the other day <coughs> We spoke about the penitential rite that is the first part of the liturgy and the second part of the liturgy is the liturgy of the word Sundays and weekdays Sundays we have reading from the Old Testament reading from the New Testament that is from the epistles or Acts of the Apostles or revelation and the third one is the gospel weekdays only one reading either from the old testament or from the new testament and the gospel so these are the readings and the readings are to be proclaimed rather than by reading if someone comes to the ambo and reads one has to read with the full reverence and fear of God. Some people ask for reading just for a show because it is their day or whatsoever. Some do not practice. At least they should have one practice of reading. Some make pronunciation mistakes. Invariably they make mistakes. Some don't see properly also. And that is why what they communicate from the reading do not or does not reach the community. Therefore the reader has to have a fear of God, practice proper language accent that also matters. Not only just coming over there to present oneself, it is not for that. It is a proclamation of the word. By the time one reads, one should have already understood what the reading, only then people will hear it. And while reading, they should come either closer or far from the mic, depending on the capacity of the mic. <coughs> and therefore, the liturgy of the word is a second part, and that comes homely, what we call reflection. Sunday reflection, weekday reflection. Sunday reflection is compulsory, whereas weekday reflection is optional. 
it can be or not necessary and the third point i would like to stress when the reading is done people should pay attention often people do not pay proper attention rather they give a mind to elsewhere some sleep some doze some wink some do not bother what is read right even if it is a language reading most of the people know what the language either english kannada or tamil or whatsoever so the reading is very important aspect of the liturgy what comes is not the holy eucharistic uh, bread alone it is a word so word and the food these are the two aspects so today we have reflected uh, briefly before the mass about the liturgy of the word make sure whoever reads come with the diligence if they are ladies always they should cover their head that is a due respect not only to the reading and also to the crowd some people come with all dress dresses having loose hair stylish way that is not proper that's not proper we the catholics should pay much attention to all these uh, things so one who reads make sure covers the head if he is or she a lady secondly due reverence third fear of god for proper practice and accent coming together as god's family let us acknowledge our sins <coughs> you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen. let us pray show gracious favor o lord we pray to the works of penance we have begun that we may have strength to accomplish with the sincerity the bodily observances we undertake through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen first reading is such the fast that i choose reading from the prophet isaiah chapter 58 verses 1 to 9 thus says the lord god cry aloud do not hold back lift up your voice like a trumpet declare to my people their transgression to the house of jacob their sins yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as if they were a nation that did righteousness I did not forsake the judgment of their God. They asked me of righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. Why have we fasted and you see it not? Why have you we humbled ourselves and you take no knowledge of it? Behold, in the day of your fast you seek your own pleasure and oppress all your workers. Behold you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with a wicked fist fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high is such the fast that i choose a day for a person to humble himself is it to bow down his head like a reed and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him will you call this a fast and a day acceptable to the lord is not this fast that i choose to lose the bonds of the wickedness to undo the straps of the yoke to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house and when you see the naked to cover him 
and not to hide yourself from your own flesh. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your response shall be, A broken and humbled heart, O God, you will not spurn. A broken and a humble heart, O Lord, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash me completely from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Your response? A broken and humble heart, O God, you will not spurn. My transgressions, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. Your response? A broken and a humble heart, O God, you will not stir. For in your sacrifice, you do not delight. Burnt offering from me would not please you. My sacrifice to God, a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart, O oh God, you will not spurn. Your response? A broken and humbled heart, O oh God, you will not spurn. Please stand to welcome the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, the disciples of John came to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and ever living God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we proclaim your glory as we acclaim. Holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of death and resurrection We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that your hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Frank Sapo and Peter Machado, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, J. Albert, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father. We have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Land of God, we pray to bear the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Land of God, we pray to bear the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so I work, and my soul shall be healed. Teach me your paths. Psalm 24, verse 4. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Two persons celebrating their birthday, one is uh, Charles, is she easier? Charles, okay. Anbu Sagairaj, okay Anbu Sagairaj, we wish you happy birthday with a lot of blessings from the Lord. May God bless you. Put your hands together please. Have a pleasant, happy birthday. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.